small town dicks, which you've been doing with detectives Dan, hello fiance, and Dave um, since 2017. Talk about what got you interested in true crime and, and also why you wanted to tell it from the small town perspective. Um, I actually, I think I didn't really clock how interested I was in true crime in, until I started dating Detective Dan, who I met at a Simpsons event, which was great. And he was my security detail. Um, it's, it's such a fairy tale. And now we're almost seven years in. And we were actually supposed to get married this summer, 2021. But we felt like even with the vaccine rollout, if everything went perfectly, we would still be on the cusp of things returning to normal. That seemed like too big an if for a lot of things to have to go right. So we've joined the 2022 club. And now we've pushed the wedding a year. So anywho, um, but we, so this summer we'll have been together for seven years. And when I, so he lived in another state from me. And the reason, obviously, I, if you listen to the podcast, we never tell you where our detectives are from. We don't give you their last names. We also change all the names of the victims. Um, and that's for the sake of the victims. So I'm not going to tell you where Detective Dan is from, but he lived in another state. So when we started dating, I would go up there about every other weekend and I would um, visit him and his twin brother, identical twin brother, Dave, who's also a detective, and they used to work at the same police agency, would come over and they would just download their Wednesday. And, I, you know, I think to, ha to have such a granular view of what that job requires mm -hmm. it, and the amount of work and uh, conscientious persistence that goes on in order for all of the dominoes to line up perfectly so that justice can be served is so much more than what we get on the news when you hear 10% of the story, if that, when you get a little soundbite. Uh, so I really, really loved that. And and I we had a, a former co-host when we started the podcast and she and I thought that all of the stories ought to be told by the detectives who investigated the stories. And we weren't actually going to be even a part of the podcast, just produce on the back end. And then Dan and Dave, we did a test recording. It did not go well. And uh, they were like, no, we need uh, we need you to ask us questions, the questions of, about things that they take for granted. And so that was how uh, the podcast was born. And I would say in the podcast space, much less so in the television space, you don't have a lot of stories being told from the people who investigated those cases. In, on television, you get quite a bit of that. But I feel like the thing you're missing in television then is the humanity, the human part of that. If you are that person who's willing to go toward the worst day of, this, of somebody's life, right? When a detective or a, even a patrol cop encounters somebody they're already not having a good day, chances are. So if you're that person who's willing to go toward the things the rest of us run from, where do you put that? How does that live inside of you? How do you be a father, a husband, a friend? How do you do it? You know, how do you be a wife or a mother or anything? Like whoever you are in that law enforcement um, sort of web that uh, we rely on heavily. Mm -hmm then uh, where does it go inside you? So I was always really interested in that. And I, I'm you, I'm basically you. If you had, a, had the privilege to have a seat at that table and ask the questions that, and you weren't embarrassed to ask any of the questions, that's my job. Mm -hmm. Well, you do a great job of asking those questions. It's, I'm always like, I wonder, and then you ask it. So <laughs> thank you, thank you. It's it's a re you can tell how curious you are about. I am genuinely curious. I and I love stories. I really believe everybody has a story. Everybody thinks their story isn't that interesting, and everybody is wrong. And it's always inside the thing that you don't expect will be interesting to someone else too. Anything. Absolutely. And, I, and if you're addressing people who are genuinely curious, I, I, I lit like all the time. How did you meet? 
how did you end up doing what you're doing? If you didn't do this, what else would you do? How do you spend your time? And the question of going back to if you're that person who is willing to um, sort of see humanity on their worst day every time you leave the house, mm. where does that live inside you? And they all say, without fail, they say, well, you know, I mean, sometimes they'll tell you that they talk about it with their colleagues, but by and large, they'll say, I put it in a box. And then P.S. Oh, no, the problem is the lock on that box isn't that good. I thought it starts to leak out. 